Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a brand new community series that you guys pulled for Gate Wins. Now, I think this is another Isekai, right? Ah, uh, wow, surprising. Who would have thought another fucking Isekai would have won? Everybody's hyping up this, like, Scythe Girl and other shit, but it's kind of interesting because, like, the premise is, like, a human and he's, like, a boomer, but he's, like, military, but it's, like, Isekai world. Who knows how good this show is? Let's find out. How old is this anime, by the way? You got goblins here? Versus military? <laughs> what the fuck are these goblins gonna do when they just shoot them? We have guns. The goblins ain't gonna do shit. They're dropping fucking, like, bombs on them and shit, bro. They're outmatched. Bro, we got tanks and shit. 33. Itami Yoji. 33. Is he a virgin? Is he a virgin? Why am I even asking? Of course he is. It's a fucking Isaka main character. Alright. Hobby. A job is simply a paycheck that you collect to fund your hobbies, right? Let's go! Bro is woke! Never be a cog in the wheel, guys! Oh no, ice cream on the ground. A lot of pretty girls. You know what that's called? That's not bald. You know what that's called? My girlfriend called this a cul-de-sac. This is not bald. This is called a cul-de-sac, according to my girlfriend, because like, you know, a cul-de-sac, you know, it's like, it's, like a, it's like a circle, right? It's like round, but it's like not completely, you know, shaved, right? So this is a cul-de-sac, okay? The <laughs> phone case. Bro's a fucking weeb. So he, wait, t t does he work in the military? It's his job? Then he spends all his paychecks on like fucking figurines and shit? Is he huge otaku, yeah? Otaku, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in his video game, his fucking uh, JRPGs? Wow, amazing jump. He was so proud of that landing. Why can't you move, bro? Is this a game? This is dream? Out of energy. It's a fucking mobile game. Oh, you ran out of stamina. You're gonna have to wait another hour until you can play again. Or you can swipe your credit card to get more fucking stamina. <laughs> Guys, never, never swipe your card to refresh energy, okay? Never do that because the energy will recharge with due time. If you can't wait, it's simple. Just play a different gacha game, okay? And if you're ever gonna swipe, you just have to swipe for the 2D JPEG waifus, okay? Never swipe for energy, okay? Fuck that shit. Swipe for the pulls, that's it. I do not condone gambling, gambling bad. Even the train is very uh, animated. Hmm? Wait, 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 rainbow colors? What the fuck? What the fuck? Invisible. Is that a gate? What is it? New limited figurine drops? What is it? <laughs> Have you ever done that? I've done this before, bro. I've done this fun, fun, still quick little story. Basically, there's this one time where I got a haircut in the mall, and there's these two really hot girls that I was like, um, basically, I'm going to the washroom in the mall, in the food court, and like, there's these really two hot girls on this left side, and I think I was like 16 years old, 15 years old, and I was like, Looking at them, I was like, <laughs> I, I basically was just doing, I was like. And then I, bam, and then I fucking fell to the ground in the fucking mall. The girl saw it. And then I went to the bathroom and I fucking didn't come out for like an hour or two. I literally stayed in the bathroom stall because I like, there is no shot I can ever show my face ever again. Probably the most embarrassing moment of my life. Watch where you walk, bro. Oh, 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 what the fuck was that moan? Elf! The elf in the opening! And the blue hair girl from the opening, too. And a wizard down there. Goth lolly, yes. 
The fuck? He hits the fucking bang and he imagines that? Did he just get close to being isekai there? Did he almost die and that's why he just had flashes of fucking isekai world? What, what was that? Yes. Fellow cultured man. Fellow cultured man. That's the enemy, right? Because gate. Oh no! Dungeon break, guys! Solo leveling! I feel like you're not gonna make it in time, bro. There's a dragon out there. More dragons. Yeah, bro. There's a fucking dragon outside. Straight up an entire army showed up? What the fuck? And they were just ready to go to war immediately? The humans are somehow like it's like a human army, but then they like fucking order the 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 goblins and other people. Too. They're all united to like fight against humans. Holy shit! Does this happen all the time? A CGI wasn't too bad. Yo, where's the army at? Ooh, the soundtrack though. Bro doesn't give a fuck about the other people's lives. It's just like my special event. It's gonna get cancelled. It's my one day off. Get up! Get the fuck out of here! The event! Please, please! I'm out of, I'm running low on time! Run! The main character of the show. Oh, wow! That's insane. I think this is the first time that a gun actually did something in anime. But not just any gun. A random, like, police officer gun. Right? That's crazy, dude. Like, in anime, guns usually do fucking nothing. But this random police dude fucking shot a guy down? Wow. Oh, spoke too soon. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. No, you can't kill, can you? Whoa. I mean, we did see like him in like army uniform, but like, bro, like is not a pussy. Immediately, episode one, like it shows up. All right, he's an otaku, but broken kill. Was that his first kill or no? Why the fuck am I paying tax money to save your ass? There was a lot of cul-de-sacs there. You see that? One, two, three, four, five copy pasted cul de sacs in frame right now. Five cul de sacs, wow. <laughs> the cops just read, listen to him, okay? <laughs> Bro had a rolling move! Dude, people are straight up dying! Oh. The Imperial Palace? This is basically like we're all hidden. Mm, what? It was what? Uh, uh, so? More gates. More gates are opening. But the cops and the military are different, right? So cops are like, you know, first responders and then and then the big boys show up in military uniform and save the day? Almost bald. Almost bald. Huh? What are they doing here? So you tell me the gate fucking open, you somehow got here, and your first thing to do was just start killing people? So they're confused on why they're here? And they just started killing people? Or maybe they're just like programmed to do it? I don't know. What, what the fuck? Ooh, five helis. Helis! Dragon versus combat copter, dude. We're gonna fucking shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Ten. 
this is not a fair fight. What the fuck are those shields gonna do? This is an absolute fucking brutal like uh, demonstration of power. Now think about it, right? Like isekai elements, yes, isekai. You, you got like magic and shit, but for the most part, people are living in the boonie time, man. Like, what the fuck are they gonna do if they drop a nuke on them, right? <laughs> Them armor's not gonna do shit. Wow, military grade. Amazing. Bald. A lot of military propaganda, huh? But he didn't do anything. He just kind of just like chilled. Oh, it's that girl again. Your mom's dead. Dad's dead too. Grow up. Imagine they're actually dead. A 33-year-old man just like approaching a little girl and just kind of doing this never looks too good. You know what I mean? Like if there was like a woman doing it, it looks kind of better. But like double standards do exist. And like an old ass dude just like showing up to a little girl and be like, "Ooh, you don't know where your mama and papa is? Hmm. Okay, then I'll go help you find her. All right, just come into this little van." Fucked up. The priorities, man. The priorities. Oh. Ma main character? Main character? The pride of all citizens of Japan? Who is getting the award? Is that him? Itami, it, it is, right? Second Lieutenant Itami. Wow. The pride of Japan? No. No. We got the cancellation. No. <laughs> he's crying tears for the fallen comrades in battle. That's what he's doing. <laughs> so Nothing happens. Gate. He just kind of got promoted, huh? Well, I mean, he didn't just get promoted, but... <laughs> Off-duty SDF official saved the day. Wow, he's getting a lot of clout, huh? He's like becoming a celebrity. <laughs> It's the hero of Japan! Kurata. I don't think he likes it at all. He hates this shit. He doesn't get weekends off anymore? Because of the promotion? No, but he just keeps winning. Giga Chad, adopt this mindset, guys. I just work to support my hobby. This is one of the most liberating things that you can do to yourselves. Live for yourselves, not a job, okay? Hobby. Easy. What, is, what the fuck is that on this fucking... Is that a rice? Is that rice there? What is that shit? Okay, he was? Did you buy some shit? The loot, what did you get? What did you get? This guy's, uh, this guy looks like a Giga Chad. He doesn't like women, but he do like guys with a bunch of, you know, figurines. What'd you do to him? What'd, what'd you do to him? He licked the rice off his face, what happened? <laughs> It'd be funny if he said, I love men. So these are like the main supporting cast? Ooh, new uniforms. Fresh drip? Alright. Y'all are important. That? The promotion? What is that? That. Things you don't want to happen are happening? The gate's opening? What? This land doesn't appear on the map. We don't know what lies beyond the gate or what it is. <laughs> what happens if you go- I did not- Oh, of course, if you fucking walk through the gate, you're gonna feed- You're gonna meet those isekai waifus, right? Oh, we're gonna send people to go in? Prime Minister. Because new gates happen? Interesting. 
He just claimed land for himself. He's like, that's Japan's territory now. Beyond the gate. We're going in. Meet our isekai waifus. <laughs> Look at the figurines. Look at the figurines. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty tame. I don't know why. I, I I expected like bunny girl senpai right over here. I don't know. I, I'd expected some degenerate shit to be in his room, but it looks pretty tame. Just like a you know, like a proper uh like a sorceress and then you got a dragon, man. No Ona hole in sight either. Even the posters, man, the posters look good too. This room is way cleaner than I thought, man. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> The, the top right is a little sus, you know, little <laughs> little girls and maid outfits. It's a little sus, but for the most part, pretty tame, pretty tame. I mean, bro is flexing that shit on his phone cover. Oh, yeah. Bro should just fucking quit. Take a two-week vacation. <laughs> President Durrell. This is America? This, so this is a 2015 uh, anime. Who, well, no, no, I can't say that. I was going to be like, who's the president of America in 2015? But it's like the anime is based off of the manga, which could have been based a long, long time. Kind of wanted to see Trump there, man. Wait, 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 wait. President Honjo. America's helping. Seal the gate. Build the dome. Build the wall! Prime Minister Honjo's term expires. Is that important? We got a new president in now? The new prime minister, Motoi Shinzo. Abe Shinzo? Is that is that a reference? Abe Shinzo was the most recent president until the newest one, right? Shinzo. I mean, it's probably just a lasting coincidence, right? Maybe it's a reference. He got assassinated by a homemade gun, 3D printer. Giga Chad Hazama got a mustache. I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna meet an elf. We're gonna meet a goth lolly. Oh my god, I, I, I was so mean to that girl, and I was like, Your mom is dead. Your dad is dead. I hope that's the mom on the left side. I hope that's the mom on the left side at the very least, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So he fights for her. Is that grandma? Oh my god, the mom and dad are both dead. Is the grandma there? Oh my god. Big gas tanks. Look at this shit. The CGI tanks looks pretty good, man. I don't even know if it's CGI right now. Goodbye, freedom. No more days off. Okay. Are we just gonna meet like a demon lord right away and we just die? And then we get isekai? No, this is the isekai. Other world. Through the gates. Maybe the goth lolly shows up right away? The soundtrack is amazing though. <laughs> yep. And dog girls too if you're a furry. And, and, and elves. And goth lollies. Yep. 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 That's the spirit! Okay, nobody ambushed us. Who's narrating? Goth Lolly? Oh shit, there they are. They were ready for us. Here we go, here we go. Immediate war. Ute! Gate. Gate! There it is. Took me four times. Took me four times. 
that's the episode, man. That's the episode, and uh, this anime is pretty much a military propaganda. Yeah, uh, war is bad, right? I, I think war is bad. People dying, bad. The hot take, I know, but you know, you, you need a good military to defend yourselves, and you're gonna, if they're gonna portray the military in, a, in like a positive way, you know, I, I think there's a tasteful way to do it. So basically, the pres the, the premise is. We got a 33-year-old version right here, who's an otaku, right? He's supposed to be the most relatable, so instead of hitting like a younger demographic of like high school students or like, you know, people in their 20s, they're hitting like the older demographic, you know, to get them involved. So it's like the main character, you know, people can like relate to that main character. Bro does not give a fuck about his job, he only cares about, you know, his hobbies. Giga Chap, you should use your paychecks from your job to fund your hobbies. Live for yourself, it's a great mindset to have, but basically, People come out of the gate and they just come out swinging. I don't know why, and they all coordinate together. Like you would think like the humans, the orcs and all these other, other races would like fight against each other, but they all just kind of united and fought us. Now, I don't know if there's like some kind of special effect to the gate. If people cross the gate, maybe like they're all forced to fight. Who really knows? But it seems like the dialogue here is that they didn't even know themselves why they're here, right? Well, it's like a very big mystery on why these gates exist and what these people are. And the isekai part of this is the other world, right? We're going beyond the gate to this different world. That's the isekai part. No truck can hear. Maybe tank kun could have run us over. But hey, we're going to basically isekai over. And then what? We're going to start shit? No, we got to fucking, you know, riz up the elf, the goth lolly, and the blue hair girl, right? That's the whole main, you know, trio. But that's it for me. Pretty interesting first episode but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care